Hey guys, uh, today we are not going to do tutorial. I actually wanted to show you guys uh, a small project that I'm working on. I wouldn't call it big right now, but it's basically a small uh, top down shooter, I guess, kind of NES style. And this is kind of what I have so far, so I'll go ahead and run it through. Uh, I tried making my best at some sprites and stuff. I do have. Uh, a basic walking animation for all eight directions. Uh, we'll get to that later. Here will be the currency, I guess, of the game. Uh, you get them from killing enemies and stuff like that. And you can spend it on upgrades and stuff like that. So that's just a small little demo area, I guess. Here I was just playing around with some objects. Here is the one of the weapons that you can use, which is a pistol which allows you to shoot in eight directions as well. So this one will have a slow fire rate, but high damage. That or very fast reload time. And the assault rifle, or some type of rifle, very fast fire rate, uh, slow reload probably, and small amount of damage. And I'm thinking about adding some other things so far I have uh, a lot of things planned I'm actually I'm not gonna do a, a, like a video like this every week or anything but uh, whenever I can I will upload maybe like a screenshot or something on my Twitter account and that way you can kind of follow along what I'm doing uh, so far I need to do a lot of tiles <laughs> I've only have this is all the tiles you see here are the only tiles I have, except for maybe a couple of, of more floor tiles and I think a couple of more wall tiles. I don't think I've actually put all of them here. But yeah, that's basically all that I have. I will run through some code because the uh, getting this to work the shooting in eight directions took me a huge amount of time so I'm gonna run through that and I'll show you guys how I did it and hopefully I'll do a tutorial on it later so here in my player object some of this is very disorganized so please <laughs> don't comment on that uh, and I'll just increase the font size so what I did is I created a object called a uh, where is it OBJ bullet controller and whenever the, the character gets created they'll spawn that little uh, OBJ bullet controller in which will basically follow the player uh, at his origin and what this does is it detects where my mouse is at relative to the player and it'll change its image angle uh, based on where my mouse is. So if it's like this, then I'll be pointing this way. And what I do is I check uh, what angle it's at. So right here I'm checking if it's at 112.5, or sorry, less than 112.5 and more than 65.5, which is uh, pointing straight up. And what I'm doing is I'm checking in eight directions so I'm dividing a 360 uh, degree circle, I guess, into eight sections, which is, if I'm correct, 22.5, yeah, 22.5, uh, no, wait, that's, sorry, 45 degree slices of the circle, and I offset that by 22.5 degrees, so it's checking 45 degrees up, 45 degrees uh, t to the top right, 45 to the right, 45 bottom right, and so on and so on. And if it's in, if it's if my mouse is above the player in that uh, top range right here, then essentially I'll create the bullet and the bullet. 
the bullet basically creates or runs that same code except for in the create event to kind of reduce lag and based on what angle it's at and when it's created it will it'll say like uh, it'll set its image angle to equal the degrees that it's facing and then uh, go the set amount of speed so if it's going up and it's going you know V speed negative or negative V speed if it's going to the top right then it's changing the V speed and the H speed and that's basically for both guns and both bullets which I only have two of for each uh, so that's about it I'll run through the game a little bit or second time just so you can see a bit better uh, I am planning on doing actually I, I'm trying to do like a I wouldn't say dynamic lighting system but that's practically what it is I wanted uh, where you can have like lights and stuff with dynamic shadows but the problem is is uh, the way I have this set up where it's not exactly 100% top down it's more of a, at a 45 degree angle uh, you can't really do dynamic shadows like that or you know if I, sh if I shine a flash like this going like this then you'll see the shadow and as I move it'll change so one if anybody can come up with that I will be like the happiest person in the world probably not because there's like more people out there but uh also if that if I can't do that I might try and do like a uh, kind of like atmospheric fog where it's all colorful and stuff which I don't actually know how to do uh, at least the correct way to do it I could I could just overlay a picture across the screen but that isn't really what I want to do I want to make it like you know move and stuff and I like little particles kind of appear every now and then of dust I guess uh, I need to add a text box text box system so the player can talk and stuff eventually uh, cutscenes which I already made a tutorial of so you should probably check that out I'm actually adding one later probably and that's basically about it that's all I have for today so follow me on Twitter at Royal Den Studios and I'll hopefully be able to post updates and stuff on there every now and then that is thank you guys for watching and goodbye